Hey guys, it's Krista here from Summer Storm Fashions, and it is currently 2 o'clock in the morning, well, 1.52 a.m., and I just finished this big FBA shipment that I just bought, and so I want to share with you what's in it and a little bit about FBA and why I love it and how it's going. So um, I've had a lot of success uh, shopping the clearance racks at stores, so one of the things that I, I got a few months ago was Staples was selling these awesome highlighters uh, for a dollar. And they normally go for like 10 bucks in the store. Um, so I checked to see what they were going for and I also want to show you how I do that. So I have this awesome, awesome, awesome app called FBA Scan. This is what it kind of looks like. Oops. You can kind of see what it looks like. I have, I just bought a lighting kit. I moved into an apartment, so that's why it's so bright and well lit. Well, Anyways, you take FBA scan, and you can just scan the barcode, which is really great. And then you enter in how much it costs you, so it costs me a dollar. And then look, it's green, and it tells me to buy it. Um, and that after FBA fees, um, that I'd make a $5.76 profit now. When I first got these, I was um, still learning how to do Amazon FBA, so here is something that I wish I'd known. Ready? Okay, it is not always cheaper to ship. Because um, when I was selling books and things, I was like, oh, they give you um, $3.99 to ship. Um, but then a lot of times it only cost me $2.80. So I thought, hey, look, I'm profiting money. But that's not true because it, it costs you $2.70 to ship, so that's still money that you're having to pay and so yeah, I wasn't making what I thought it would be so it was actually cheaper to send these in and have Amazon do it and well when I was paying the ship it I was only making a couple of dollars now I'm profiting anywhere from three to five depending on what the lowest um, lowest amount is that they're selling it for so definitely 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 check out the clearance rack at Sears not Sears sorry Staples like I said it's two o'clock in the morning but I'm boxing this up and I want to show you um, this I got off the clearance rack at Kmart it's just a set of a um, just toy toy trains um, and then I also want to show you though what happens if something uh, doesn't cut up so I was just at Target and they had a massive clearance section of toys but most of the toys were like 20 bucks. Um, another place where I go to get awesome FBA inventory is Dwayne Reed, which is the New York City equivalent of Walgreens. Uh, last week, they were having a clear out sale where they were selling their toys for 69 cents. And they, those toys were all going on Amazon for uh, anywhere from 10 to $30. And so I made a really good profit. Um, something else I just learned was that the size of your item actually affects how much it, how much the fee is. So I, knowing that, I try to find lighter weight and smaller items so that I get a better profit. So these toys, doo -doo -doo. Um, this was on clearance at Target for uh, fourteen dollars. So I want to show you what happens when. FBA scan doesn't pull anything up. So I'm going to scan the barcode and it says not found if you can see it. But that doesn't mean that it's not there. So then you open up your Amazon seller app and this is great if you're starting out. FBA scan is 40 bucks a month and it's definitely something to work up to because especially when you're scanning books it's um, really good to know right off if you should buy it or not based on their algorithm. Okay, so this says that the sales rank is 60000 so for toys, that's awesome. I like it when my toys sell within a few days. And then it says that the box price right now is $35.99. And so without the FBA scan, which automatically calculates my fees, I'd have to do it. I'm like, okay, that's about two and a half what I paid. It's lightweight, so I should still be making um, a good profit on this. In fact, I'm making $10 profit a box. Um, so now I want to show you this box. And um, some people won't um, do something unless they make their they double their money. So this was you know fourteen dollars, and so some people wouldn't buy it unless they're making a fourteen dollar profit. That's not me. If something if I can buy a lot of things that are going to sell, because 
they have a really great sales rank. Um, and I'm profiting $5 off of each of those within reason. I mean, if it's a $100 item, I'm not going to buy, you know, spend $500 to make, you know, sorry. So if I buy five, I'm sorry, it's I'm tired. So if I buy five items at $100 that I um, would profit $5 off of, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to spend $500 just to make 25 That's not worth it. But when an item's under 10 Dollars. If I can consistently make five dollars on something and sell a lot of them, I'm gonna do it. So I bought four of these, right? They're gonna sell within a few days, and so that's forty dollars for just less than an hour of my time. But this box did take a while, and I want to show you that. Um, so you need big boxes if you're gonna start doing um, Amazon FBA because it's cheaper to mail everything in. For example, with UPS shipping. It's a $35 base for $4.38. So for $4.38, you can mail in 38 pounds of stuff. Maybe it's 35. I don't remember. Was it 35 or 38? Um, so that's great. So you want to put a lot more in. The FedEx store is cheaper than me, so it's only like 30 cents more um, to do a FedEx. So that's what I'm going to do because it's closer. So anyways, this box was too tiny. You could see it wouldn't fit all of them. I only spent 45 minutes and I took tape and I just stuck two boxes together. Um, that's how it worked. So yeah, you just box them all up and then you just, um, sometimes Amazon gives you labels that you have to put on. What's great about some of these really new items, sorry, new items is that you don't need to put a label on, which is good because I hate that stuff. And so I'll just package all that up and for under $5 I'll mail it in. And I'll profit within the week, guys, um, between all of my Sharpie markers that I'm mailing in, this toy, and the, um, the what are these called? I don't even know what they're called. And the shop things that I send in, I'll profit almost $75 for an hour of my time. How crazy is that? And I figure out how to get paid to shop, so it's really fun. Now, you'll meet some other resellers that don't feel comfortable sharing where they get things. I have no shame in saying that um, I went to Target and um, Dwayne Reed and Kmart and Walmart. Um, and they get really, I guess, protective of their inventory. And I get, I get that. You know, they, if you read some blogs, they'll never say what they actually bought. The way I look at it is I'm not selling one product consistently. It's not like I developed this product as some Amazon resellers do, um, that they developed. And so they'd be, they don't want anyone else to get it. For me, it's just like, I'm to the clearance rack. Odds are your store is not going to have it. And if you saw this video and you went and you bought out all the Shopkins in your Target, mine will already be sold by the time that you do that. Um, and also these items, I'm usually uh, one of the cheapest sellers. Or what I'll do is I'll wait until the other reseller sells out. So for example, bought some dinosaur claws for 69 cents last week, right? I bought 11 of them and the other seller um, was $2 above the next one, right? So there's three of us selling, one seller selling for $10 and 69 cents, the next one selling for 13. I knew that that $10 one, she'd be sold out soon, right? So I marked my toys up to $12 and 69 cents, so still above the next one. And sure enough, um, that seller sold out and then I was making two dollars more just for waiting a little bit so you can do that it's a learning experience but I'm gonna pack these up and ship them out and um, if you have any questions uh, please let me know uh, I'm still new at this too but um, I just know that there's a lot of people out there that could really benefit from having an extra 65 bucks or 75 dollars a week profit um, I know I am because I'm in law school and yeah Okay, well, have a great night or morning, um, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.